What's going on, everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com. In our last Dynasty video, we went through our first preseason in our Duke Dynasty. We recruited, we redshirted, we done all that good stuff. And today we're going to play our first game, and that is against Ball State. I think they run like a spread offense, 4-3 defense. We got a little bit more talent than they do. Hopefully we can have a good, clean game today, a good one that can get our feet wet, especially with a new offense, one that I've never ran before so i'm really looking forward to doing that but hopefully we'll get through this unscathed now we got to talk about a few things before we take on ball state let's go to end season recruiting there is an oversight on my part my goal for this first season is to really only go after a three star and below unless we have a really good season this year and i feel like i'm okay to go after some four stars Ernest Jasmine, wide receiver out of Texas, is a four-star. I, I didn't mean to put him on there. I just forgot to look at that. So I'm going to take the points off of him. Because of right now, I want to go after nothing but smart dudes. And right now, just three stars in below. Because we're just still a two-star program. We're absolutely awful. And I'm just not ready to go after four stars yet. Yes, I can do that right now. I'm sure I'll get a comment or two saying, hey, go after four and five stars. But right now, I'm just not going to. So I want to put those points somewhere else. Now, we are already going after a right tackle, a free safety, and a middle linebacker. I am looking for immediate help. Starters for next season. Well, here was another outside linebacker, a four-star kid. Again, I just didn't mean to put him on there. Again, just an oversight. But we got this quarterback, Sam Phillips. I don't like his speed nor his accuracy. That So he really can't do a whole lot for me. So I'm not going to put any points on him. We got this halfback, Jeff Bell, out of South Carolina. We're at the top of his list. I'd love to go after him. The thing is, we got a lot of halfbacks coming back, and we just won't need him for several years. I need immediate help, so we're not going to go after him. We got this guard that I would love to have. The problem is we got a negative pitch, and I'm just not going to deal with those right now. Yes, I could probably get him to commit if I put a ton of points on him, but I'd rather go after somebody else where we got a better chance at. Again, another halfback I wouldn't mind putting points on, but we just have too many guys at that spot. So that was kind of a mistake on my part going after those two at this particular time. So we got these three guys left. We're going after this middle linebacker. I really want this kid. And we got a center, a left tackle, and a middle linebacker. Now, I don't mind going after any of these, but I'm just going to pick one. We got this center who would fit well. He's from Tennessee. I'd love to turn that to a pipeline. Love, you know, Florida is still a pipeline of ours. He's another tackle. And then we got another middle linebacker. And we need help here more than anywhere else. Yes, we need help everywhere, to be honest. But I'm already going after one tackle. And we got plenty of tackles coming back. We got four coming back next year, along with we're going after one already. So it comes down to being a, getting a center or another middle linebacker. Well, I'm thinking about going after this middle linebacker only because he could be a future defensive end for me, or he could stay at middle linebacker. So I'm kind of hitting two birds with one stone. And we got a negative pitch. I guess that's not going to happen. <laughs> My bad. Didn't see that one coming. So I'm going to go after one of these two offensive linemen. I think I'm going to go after this center. We need help here. Now we got two guys coming back, but they're going to be upperclassmen. And they're not very good. I think it's 68 and 65 overall for those two. So I'm just going to go ahead and just put 25 on this guy. And maybe that'll help me turn Tennessee into a pipeline, which I would love to do. And it's a border state for us. So we're going to go after this center instead of the four-star wide receiver. I hope all of that made sense. The rest of this, we can look at the play week. I didn't think about this. But you go to week one. And there was literally one game played. Arizona State barely beat Temple. So we didn't miss anything there. There's not a whole lot to see here in terms of the Sports Illustrated. Nobody's really played anybody. And the team info screens are kind of useless at this point. Because, again, nobody has played. So I think we are ready to take on Ball State. We will speed this up a little bit. And we will see if we have anybody in trouble. Hopefully not. And it looks like that's not the case. So let's jump right into it. And we do not have a televised game. We are heading straight to the coin toss. So we won the toss. We're going to kick it. I want to defer to the second half. We will go that way, which is fine. Now, let's check out. Let's go to our formation subs. I don't need to do anything here. We're going to be using more sub, package than, sub packages than anything. 
I'm going to use a fullback sub package here. So you see where number 80 is at right here. I have a fullback sub package I'm going to put right there. And for this one, I may put in our number tight end, number one tight end, I should say, right here. And I may do the double tight end stuff right here, maybe. I don't have to do anything on this one. This one, I think I may do the, the twin halfback just because I got a fullback overplay that could be quite useful. Maybe the same for this one. This will probably stay as is. I may put the tight end right there, and I may do the double tight end thing right here. So when you go to our depth chart, it's kind of I have to decide which five guys do I want out there. Specifically, do I want my number four receiver, who is a 70 overall, or do I want my tight end, my top tight end, to be out there instead in the four wide sets? Well, I would prefer him to do that. Now, we also got to think about those formations that lets us put two tight ends out there via sub packages. So do I want Adams and Riley, which is 74 and 70, or these two guys, 82 and 72? I think it's in our best interest maybe to put the two tight ends in there. The only downside with putting this guy in just for that one spot, like in a uh, gun bunch and uh, maybe another one I'm not thinking of. He's really slow and that's going to be like my third and long post route. So that's just something I have to think about. But from what I can tell, the only thing I really have to do is a lot of sub package stuff for this particular season. Okay. Now, having said that, let's check out their roster. They got an impact quarterback pocket passer. So I'm going to go after him some, they don't have a whole lot on halfback. Everybody's in the seventies, not much of fullback. They got an impact wide receiver. So this tells me they're going to throw the ball probably more than run it. They got a 76 overall tight end, but he can't run. I'm not even going to look at his catch. You look at his offensive line, a bunch of guys in the 70s for the most part. We got their best guy as a center at 80. Then you look at their defense, 76 and 65 on the ends, 70, 72 at tackles. Then you got 74, 68, and 70 at linebackers, and their backup needs to actually be the starter. Corner 78, 68, 74, just nothing there. They got an 80 overall free safety and an impact strong safety. So their two safeties are the highlight of the defense. 74 kicker, 70 punter, and I think I have seen all of what I need to say. But I'm going to go back to formation subs. And on defense, we need to change some stuff here. We need to put... Can I put Dewan right here? And can we put, uh, we'll put White right there. So I just, I'm making sure my two best linebackers are out there. Same for this spot. I don't know. I'll probably use very little dime. But I'm going to put him there just in case. One thing I didn't think about on the punt returns, we can go ahead and look at something really quick. We can look at kickoff starters. And I just need to see who our fastest guys are. Drummer. Marcelin and Wright, more or less. So on punt return, we're going to back out of here. Let's go to punt return. I got a drummer. Let's put Wright and Marcelin on the outside. So 81 and 87. We're going to put them. Defense. We're going to do punt block. 81 and 37. Is that correct? Are they out here? Forgive me, I should have looked as I already forgot the numbers. Punt return, 81 and 87. That's who I want right there. So let's go back. Let's go uh, defense. We'll go punt block, 81 and 87. There's Marcelin and 87. Uh, what was the other guy? Right. So... I got those two guys on the outside. I think we're going to be okay there. All right. I think that is it. Let's get this show on the road and start a brand new dynasty. Should be a whole lot of fun. I don't see any impact guys on the back end, so we are going to kick it down the middle. We do have some rain today. Let's see if that affects anything. Another thing I have to do. It just occurred to me. Again, I'm sorry, but if formation subs, we got, if you look back here, our halfbacks, we got three guys that are about the same, more or less. So, which one can catch the best? It looks like it's Drummer. If you remember, and I completely forgot about Ronnie Drummer. He was our big stud of Murray State, in our Murray State dynasty. I just completely forgot about that. He transferred, and I turned him to a, you know, just an All-American, all that good stuff. 
So hopefully I could do the same thing in this dynasty. But I want to switch some guys around. We're going to leave 33 there. I'm going to leave. Uh, let's do Boyle here. I'm going to do Drummer here. And I'm not basing this on anything special, just to be honest. We're going to do that. I'm going to leave. We'll do Boyle here. I'm going to do Drummer there. We can leave that as is, and this right here, we can do boil. I'm All three are going to play at some point or another, so I figured that'd be a good way to do that until I figure out who I really want to play a whole lot. Because, again, all three are kind of similar to each other. Okay, that was a good stop. Now let's actually play. I'm going to control the safety, free safety the entire time. I really enjoy doing that. It gives me a bit of a, a, bit of a challenge doing that. Good job, Al. I was really late on that for whatever reason. CPU couldn't control my player there. We're going to do quarters. Looks like we're going to do something like this. I'm going to stay in zone quite a bit today. I think they're going to throw quite a bit, as we see already. Two straight passes. So that is what? Third and four? We'll go cloud. Got a huge crowd today. <laughs> Please don't run up the gut. I'm a little worried about that. There's nothing stopping them. Nope, they're going to throw it, thankfully. And he slightly overthrew it. So that is a good start. Where we are located, I'm going to go ahead and do double cross. I don't think we're going to be able to block anything from this spot. I think they'll come in to protect. We got to fill up that stadium quick. It is getting, uh, it's kind of bare. <laughs> Hopefully I can do that here in a season or two. It takes a while. And we're going to start off on the right hash. Hash marks aren't going to be super important. Let me do a fullback there. Let me just go to some formations that I know I have to change something. I don't have to do anything here. So I'll start off with a pass play. We're going to do tight end corners. We're going to go to Elliot. Get about five yards there. I'm going to do twin halfback. We can do a fullback over. It's on my mind, so we can go ahead and do that. Fullback over. I think they're going zone. If I'm not mistaken. Nope, they're going man. Ah, my tackle just got destroyed. So it is third and ten. Middle of the field. We'll go tight end cross. I should have cut up instead of in. That was my fault. So hopefully Schneider can make this throw. We've called this play plenty of times before. Terrible throw. He overthrew it big time way off to the right. So we're going to... Have to punt it. He was open. Just wanted a good throw, so we will see if we can get a decent punt here. Nope, this is going way off to the right, and I shanked it. Well, at least he's not going to return it. But they're going to have good field position. Let's do cover two man. Out of four, three. I'm taking a chance of shifting everybody like that. And that's a solid nine yards by that guy. We'll just stay in cover two. Do something like this. It's going to take me a while to get used to which plays I want to run. That's almost a first down, if not one. Third and inches, I'm, I think they're going to run it. They're going three wide. I probably didn't need to shift everybody. That may have hurt us. We'll see. That's a good stop, but they're going to get the first down. Let's do a zone blitz.
Do something like that, maybe? Screen to the opposite side, so they got some room. They're going to get a solid five yards. I'm going to call a different blitz. It'd be great if we can get to the quarterback. Maybe a challenge for us this year. Another screen to the opposite side. Exact same thing, and they can get first touchdown. I'll be. That was my fault. My fault bit big time. Well, we're off to a terrible start. My corner completely goofed on that tackle. I don't know what he was doing there. Of course, I didn't help things either. Touchdown. Well, they're just running over people now. Okay, well, I'll just pretend that was their first drive and they just slowly went down the field. Well, hopefully we can tie it up somehow. I just goofed up on that one play. Back to defense we go. Or offense, I should say. Got to figure out what to do offensively. Looks like we got right on this one. Just a good stop. Where are we? We can go... We can go ace normal from here. Let's do crossers. They're going man and they're blitzing everybody. So this is going to go to Patrick or Elliot. I think it's, it's going to be the impact guys on him. But they're going cover zero. Can we make a play? Nice. Man, we needed that in the worst way. Good play there. Let's go... Let's do a dive play from Ace Big. They're going zone. Good little run right there. Just squeam or squirm through a couple holes to get a first down. We got, let's see, we got something like this. Let's do a toss play with Drummer. They're going man nickel. They're doing that. We'll go to the left. Let's see if he can get a touchdown. Good. Okay. Man, we needed that badly. <laughs> so hopefully we will tie this up with an extra point. So I'm already loving that I'm getting to run the ball a little bit more than I did in the, <laughs> in the last dynasty. I'm going to try to keep it balanced. Just kind of go back and forth between the run and the pass and Pick plays from various formations. You're going to see a lot of different plays. I just got to remember them all. I normally don't run an offense with like a ton of plays to work with, but a lot of these formations in this playbook have a lot of decent plays that can fit what we do. So let's get back on defense and try to get a stop. That's a good double tackle right there, like a double team of some sort. I'm going to try another zone blitz. If they don't do much play action, I may have to back off of that. I don't know if our talent is good enough to do it. They did go play action. Wide open over there. Wow. What in the world? Just destroying it. Just a, somebody got just absolutely wide open. So somebody got hurt. I don't even remember somebody getting hurt. That's odd. He's going to get a solid five yards out of that. I could have swore he was going to get out of bounds. He got four. Let's go back to cover two. Need to get them in a third down situation. Back to the pass they go. So that's what, third and two? I'll probably go back to man again. They're going with the bigger set, so I'm still going to stay in cover two. I just do not trust any 
we're gonna do something like this. God dang it, what nothing you can do about that. It's just going to, now you see why I keep running back ability of 40. <laughs> the guy's not even impact guy, and he's just breaking tackles, just running over people. Well, so much for getting a stop on this one, unless we get lucky. I got control of this 24. Ooh, that was interesting. I'm going to go cover two, man. If I was them, I would just run the ball. It said they was going three wide. Counterplay. Somebody get a stop. Good tackle by 48. So now it's third and something. Oh, man. What, uh, I'm going to go man. If they go, if they pass, we may be hurting. For a man beater of some sort. Good stop. We'll take that. Force a field goal. You can have all the field goals you want. Please don't fake it. I have a set up where it's field goal safe man, so if something does happen, we should be okay. Should. That's a good stop. Just keep him out of the end zone. That's the name of the game. So, Ball State is on pace to score 40 today. <laughs> I'm not worried about running clock or anything just yet. That's, that'll come in time if needed. Let's see if Drummer can do something here. Ah. So, we're on the left hash. Trying to think what we have that we can use. Left hash, left. Let's go. Twin halfback again. Let's do twin halfback here. Let's do another toss play. They're going zone. Good blocking here. Can we just get the first? I don't think we did. Second and inches. Let's do... I have an idea. We're going to do stick. Halfback mid attack. So they're going man. This will go to Ryder or Patrick. Good throw. Good catch by Ryan. Pick up the first down. We can go run one of our staples. Let's go tight end delay. That's the end of the first quarter. We're down three points. Hopefully we can get right down the field and get the lead back. Again, it'll take me a few games to get used to all the plays that I have available to me. Let me do something like this. Good throw to Adams. Pick up the first down there. I need to run some play action eventually. Let's try that fullback over again. Maybe we'll get lucky and hopefully don't get pushed back by the tight end. Let's go over here. Wow. There's nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. I'm still going to go to the right more. Let's, uh... We can go back to that toss play again. Man nickel. For doing that. Just good defense. Just perfect defense. So, guess what? We're back to third and long. Tight end cross. Going man. A little worried about this one. Dang it, Al. Dang it. Dang it. I threw it to the wrong guy. Ah, we got to punt it. Oh, this is going to be a long day, I'm afraid. Let's see if we can get something manageable here. So our offense isn't doing its part. 
Our defense needs to do something. Let's see if we can get a stop on this drive. So far, their offense is making it look pretty easy just getting down the field. Look at this. Thank the Lord he didn't break that tackle. Let's do quarters from nickel. I think that is out of bounds, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, he caught that? No, third and three. I was fixing to say. We're going with another goal line look. Maybe they'll throw it. Good stop. We'll take that any day of the week. So let's get the ball back. Let's do a double cross because, again, if I went for a pump block, they'll just protect it from this spot. Let's go right here. Somebody get a block on the right. Somebody, anybody. Get a block over there. Just don't fumble it. We need to score a touchdown here of some sort. I thought I had a play right here, and I don't. Right, we're going to go back to the other one. I thought it was in that formation. I guess it isn't. We'll go back to I tight. We'll go back to Elliot. Good blocking. Man, we needed that. Great block by the tight end. I need to reward him somehow. So what I want to do next, I have the, I'm going to keep the four wide guys out there. I think it's, we're okay with that for now. I'm going to do QB choice from gun bunch. I'm going to try to hand this off. Just a basic run over to the right. See, we can get good blocking and we did. We're going to get six. Nope. We're not going to get the touchdown. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Ah, oh, barely got in. Close. Almost. So we're on the goal line. Now, here's the thing. I do not have... I don't have any of my normal goal line formations. We're going to bring him over. We're going to just pick up a touchdown. We're going to do halfback direct. How about that? So we got a touchdown, and we got the lead again. I got to figure out which play actions I want to use. I just don't know them yet. Again, I'm just trying to get used to all the new plays. It's been so... I mean, I rarely used, like... Seven of these nine formations, I just don't use much. But I'm looking forward to kind of get them, putting them all together and making them actually one big offense. But I'm liking this whole compressed thing. I think it's working out pretty well so far. It's a power coast, power coast compressed something of another. That's a good kick. Will he return it? He will. And he bobbled it. Get a stop, somebody. There you go. We need to get another stop. I'm going to try another zone blitz. They're not working. We haven't been able to get a sack yet. Let's do something like this. This may have been a mistake. Please don't run up the left. Play action. Wide open. First down. He somehow got the ball out. Almost a sack. But not enough. So let's go cover two man. We need faster linebackers to solve that problem. Get an open field tackle. Good hit there. Didn't get much on that one. What a couple. Uh, let's, I'm going to try another zone blitz. Even when they go and play action, they're doing a really good job of getting out of the situation. Their quarterback's pretty good. He's making good plays so far. Another play action. Almost got a sack. But we got to stop. That's what matters. So it is third and eight. Let's go cloud. Let's go defense. Step up. They're not going to run the ball. I'm not worrying about that. So we'll just spread them out. I've got the middle of the field. Good. No. 
Oh, just enough. <laughs> Barely. And I probably didn't need to take him over. That was very iffy. Let's do an all-out block. Let's take a chance. They, I think they'll still come in to protect. I'm not really sure. And they're going to. I think it's when you get much closer to the midfield is when they will do that. Not come in to protect. They're running a little clock. A drummer should have some room to run, though. Come on, come on, come on, come on. He's just not the fastest guy in the world, but now we're on the 28. I'm trying to think what we have. We got left hash stuff. Let me think. Let's go back to mid attack. I'm okay with that. We're going zone, so this should be interesting. Let's throw that one away. That looked all kinds of bad. That did not look good at all. Second and 10. Minute 35. What do I have that I can use? I'm just trying to think. I think I may just run the ball. I just don't know a lot of my pass plays yet. And we're going zone. Let's do something like this. Just enough for the first downs. We need to call a timeout. We didn't get out of bounds. I may end up having to use gun normal for a little bit to get down the field. This may be a good two-minute drill type formation for me until I get my feet wet with the rest of the stuff. And Elliot is hurt. Yay! Our best receiver. Let's go back to tight end delay. They're going, they're going to zone us to death, and then that clock is running. Get a first stand, but dang it, I got to call a timeout. I need to get over to the other side somehow. Let me think. Um, I don't know where what is what over here. Let's go P. Reed. He's coming back, thank the Lord. We're going zone. Let's get out of bounds there. We can go back. Let's do P read from here. We're going zone. I don't mind just chipping away at this. Get out of bounds. Third in inches. Just trying to think what we have. Um, I haven't called anything from this for. Let's do a let's do a run play. We got over a minute and we only need like 35 yards. We'll do something like this. Get a first down with drummer. 57 seconds, so now we we really got some time left. Let's do PA fullback flat. We're going zone. This is going to be interesting. This is going to go to my fullback or to right. We're going cover two. Good play to Patrick. We're going to break this play down right here. Spider 2 wide banana. I'm going to bring out my old trusty telestrator here. So we pretty much got... Him doing like this on a flag route, we got our fullback going like this. Well, against cover two, which is what they went with like right here, this is who we're going to go after. If this was cover three or four, I'd be going to the fullback. So thankfully, when you break this down, you see they go cover two. We can't go to the fullback because of this guy right here, if I can get to him. We can't go to this guy to fullback because of that guy. Thankfully, this full or this strong safety keeps going back, so we're able to go to this guy. This guy looked pretty open as well. I've never really been to look for him before. Kind of, sort of. He was kind of open, but I think we made the right decision and went to our top tight end. So that's a good play there. So where are we? How many? We got 52 seconds. We got time to kill. 
Let's do halfback slam. I know we're going up against goal line, but we kind of have a goal line set right here. If I'm not mistaken, they are going zone, aren't they? They are. We'll just keep him over there. We'll go to the right. I'm going to run some clock. Let that clock go down to a couple seconds. And if this doesn't work, we'll try another something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Touchdown. Good little play there. And we got a player hurt. Offensive lineman. Hopefully it's nothing too serious. But now we've stretched the lead just a bit. So our defense has really stepped up this quarter. I don't think we've given up a point in this quarter. Of course, there's 28 seconds left. Anything's possible. But now we are up 11. So that, the second quarter was a big one for us. Let's kick it off again. Let's get back on defense. Hopefully they don't do anything crazy on this one. This is not the best kick in the world. Short field. Good open field tackle, though. Let's go cover two man. They're going with a big set, it appears. Do something like this, perhaps. Hopefully they will run it. Yeah, they're going to just try to run clock. Good tackle there. I don't, they're going to call a timeout, so they may try to do something. I'm still going to go cover two man. It wouldn't shock me if they ran the ball again. Which makes you wonder why would they waste a timeout right there, but I don't know. So they are going play action. Oh my gosh, what a catch. It bounced off my defender's back. How lucky can he get? Uh, uh. Golly. So they called another timeout. I'm going to go quarters. I got to get hearing about another play or two. I'm going to have to go to man because they're going to call a Hail, Hail Mary one soon, I would imagine. Sack. Huge play. Somebody finally got to him. We're going to leave that one alone. I think they're willing to go to the half. They're doing hurry up. I don't think they're going to snap it. And that is it for the first half. We are up 21 to 10. First quarter got iffy. Second quarter got a little better. We'll check out some stats. 235 yards of offense. So offense is doing pretty good. But again, we're not playing any against somebody that's all that great. Passing game is going fine. The run game seems to be going okay. We're not doing very well on third downs. Neither are they. It's even split. But neither team has had a turnover yet. We'll go to individual stats. Schneider, I'm trying to give him some good, easy throws to make, and it looks like that's working. No touchdowns for him, and no picks either. Running the ball. Dargan, Drummer, Boyle, everybody's kind of doing a little bit of something. I need to get Boyle going a little bit, but each one has a touchdown. I did not plan that. That's just kind of the way it worked out. And in terms of receiving, Elliott, our top guy, is leading in that front on receptions and yards, but nobody has a touchdown yet. You go to defense. White is leading in tackles. Five of them already. Tackles for loss. Low and Alexander. And Alexander, our impact defensive end, has the lone sack. Okay, let's get back at it. We will get the ball first this quarter. We need to take advantage of it and get a touchdown. Get some points. Let's see if Wright can do something on this return. Not much. So we are on the right hash. I'm trying to think. I want to go. Corner combo. They're going zone. I don't know who's going to get the ball on this one. It looks like it's going to be Adams, our fourth tight end. Not a whole lot there. Just picked up a few. Second and eight. I'm going to do a direct. It's just on my mind, so we'll just go ahead and call it. They're doing every bit of that. This ain't good. High snap. Very fortunate on this one. So Boyle got to pick up his yards a little bit. Let's go right here. And I want to go... Curl flats. This is a great West Coast formation. They're going man. 
I may do something like this. So this is going to go to Boyle or Patrick. Looks like we'll go to Boyle. Just don't fumble it. Get some yards there. Let's do a toss with Dargan. We're going man. Yeah, we'll go left. That's fine. Going to get some decent blocking here. Of course, their impact guy makes the tackle. He's everywhere. I'm trying to stay away from him, but he went all the way across the field to make that tackle. Good play there. Let's do slam. Out of bunch, they're going 4-3. But at least it's zone. Maybe I can find a crease. We'll go to the right. Uh, let's do something else. Let's go to the left. Looks like we're going to go to the outside on this one. That's a face mask. Thank you. Personal. That's a 15-yarder. Tack that on. So we're on the 6-yard line. Let's go back to fullback over. Let's see if Drummer can get in for a touchdown. They're going man, and that impact guy's on that side. I could flip this, but let's see what happens if I don't have to do that. Yeah, let's just pick up the touchdown with Drummer. So the offense is clicking. That's good. I'm like that it's balanced. It's been a long time since I've ran a balanced offense. And we're up 28, 27 to 10. Hopefully we will be up 28 to 10. We shall kick an extra point. So that was a good drive. It only took up a minute. I'll, just, I'll try to sneak in another play action on the next drive if I don't forget it. This should be kind of down the middle. Kind of, sort of, at least. And he's going to return it. Uh-oh, he's gone. Fumble. Oh, huge play. Oh, they still got it back. I couldn't get it. <laughs> well, that was a big play for them. Let's see if they take advantage of it. Man, we should have picked that thing up. I couldn't, though. So let's try something like this. Oh my gosh, that should have been an interception. I'm sitting right on it and he missed it. Ah. Let's go cover two man. That was a wild play. You go back and look at this. Somehow I think the quarterback got out of a sack. Somebody got to him, he squirmed out of it, and he just threw a Hail Mary situation. And I saw it coming my way. It's like, oh, this is easy pick six. Easy interception. Nope. That's why you play defense. So it's second and ten. We are going man. I hope this is okay. First down. Little man beater. Just a little out route. What play was that, by the way? They're going gun wide trips. Oh, I know what play that was running. Yeah, it's the comeback route. That's halfback corner. First and 10. Let's go quarters. Maybe we can keep, out, keep them out of the end zone. They're not in there yet. Halfback off tackle. No! Oh, good tackle, Al. Save the touchdown. We'll go back to cover two. Do something like this. Triple option, and they gave it to the dive read to pick up a first down. Let's do another zone blitz. I'm okay with that. At this point, you're just hoping you can keep him out of the end zone. PA Reed, that's a good stop by the blitzer. Now it's what? Second and goal on the five. We'll go cover two man. It said they went two wide, and look what they're doing. They're going goal line. Ah, dang it. That's a smart play. Give it to your best player. Broke tackle. Touchdown. 
So that was a big drive for them. They had a huge kickoff return, which led to the score. So now we're up 11, unless they miss this extra point. And the quarter is not even halfway over yet. And we already got two quick touchdowns between both teams. Ooh. That was scary. I almost, I don't know. <laughs> that was kind of scary. Okay. Middle of the field. How about we do a deep cross up? They haven't called this in forever. Dang it, I forgot that safety's over there. Should have flipped it. Not feeling a whole lot of heat, at least. Good throw. Right where it needs to be. Do not fumble it. Get a first down there. We can... Let's go. Let's run stick again. We're going man. This will probably go to Ryder Patrick. Good catch by Wright. Pick up a few yards. Not a whole lot. I want to go back. It's on my mind. We're going to go back to P.A. Reed. We're going zone. Like I would love to go over the top or something, but we'll play this safe. Mm, close to, to the first down. I almost got sacked back there. That was just a... Ooh, we did get the first. Just enough. So let me think. Let's do... Let's call it deep attack. We're going man. This is going to go to, more likely, Elliot or Patrick. Square or triangle. Cover one. Dang it. Yeah, impact guy was on him. Second and ten. Let's do another toss play with Drummer. Man nickel. And they're double teaming him. Had to get that one off a little quick. Get a first down with Drummer. Now I'm going to go back to that play action play. We're on the 18 yard line. I hope this is the right call. That's on my mind, so we're going to go with it. They're going zone. It's going to get interesting. I don't even have my audible set up. I probably need to. Cover two. Nobody's open. Nobody's open. We'll throw that one away. Ah. Good call. I, I don't think I had enough room on the back end to throw to our tight end. So I think that was the right call. I'm going to go back to another toss play. Anytime I'm in the, one of these bigger sets, until my offensive line gets better, I would prefer to go to the outside a little bit more. We'll just go to the left. Good defense. Face mask. Thank you. Oh, man. Look. That was a gift. They had a second and four instead of a third and nine. That is Boyle. Let's try. Let's run the ball with him. Man nickel. Who's on who? I kind of see it now. There we go. Six points. Good deal. So we got that touchdown back. We needed that. So nothing but running touchdown so far. I'd love to get in the end zone through the air. It just hasn't really worked out yet. But our running game is working pretty well. The closer I get to the red zone, the, the simpler it is for me just to run the ball. But I would love to be able to pull off that Spider 2 wide banana play from earlier. It just didn't work out. So we'll get back on defense. This has been a very busy third quarter. Like, we're still in the third. I can't believe it. It's been a really long game. It feels like it has been. That's a great kick. Touchback. Ah, let's try another zone blitz. We've only got one sack today. Maybe we can force a bad throw at least. Ah, 
Oh, that could have been disastrous. I made a terrible angle on that play. That was bad. Thank the Lord he overthrew it. So we'll go back to man. Looks like they're doing some of this. Basic run. Look at this. Oh, it took three hits, but we finally got him down. So it is third and five. We're going to go cloud. Hopefully they will throw it. I'm going to leave it as is. They may run the ball on this one. Do something like this. They're going to run it. Good stop. On the fumble, somebody get it. Big stop either way. So we're going to get the ball back. Now, where are we? We're on the 25. We're going to do a double cross. We're going to return it. Maybe Drummer can get something going. Looks like we're going to fair catch that one. Mmm, that would have been kind of close. So we are on the left hash. I'm trying to think of what plays we haven't called. Draw. I would do more draws under center, but... There's no point when you already got a dive and slam. It just... So it looks like they're going man on this one. Just nothing there. Good defense. We are on the left hash. Let's go fade delay. We're going zone. We may not get nothing out of this one. This is either going to go to right or boil. Got a few yards, just not a whole lot. So it's, what, third and eight. Only play I can think of at this spot at the moment is tight end cross. We're going man. Hopefully I can make a better decision this time. Cover one. Dang it, tight end. He dropped it. I should have thrown to him anyways. The impact guy was on him. But the impact guy didn't even make a difference. He just dropped it. Interception. Thankfully, we have a good lead. Otherwise, this could have been really bad. And it still may. This game is nowhere near over with yet. So just a bad play by my tight end. I probably won't go to him any more today. Unless I have no choice. Touchdown. Just like that. Went cover two. I may have to back out of that. I knew that was going to be a touchdown. I could have took that guy over. Could have given us a better chance, maybe? I don't know. Now we're back to being up 11. So back on offense, let's try to get that touchdown back. Or maybe Drummer can get a touchdown right here. That'd be cool. Fumble, no! Impact guy, fumble. Just like that, we got a game. Two turnovers, two straight plays. I guess I shouldn't have juked. I, I just whatever. I should have just went out of bounds when I saw the impact guy. Good catch, first down. And just I like that. All of a sudden, everything's changed. I go back to man. I'm, maybe they'll run it. Turnovers are the most important stat in football. I mean, nothing else compares to it. Get an open field tackle there. Not much yardage. Let's do quarters. We'll do an over front. He's just running people over. And that is the end of the third quarter. That was a bad quarter. We're up 11 somehow. We need to force a field goal right here in the worst way. Can we do that? 
We're going to try. I got the middle of the field. Wow, touchdown. Oh, he didn't get in. Somehow he didn't get in. I could have swore he got a foot down. You go back and look at this. Look how close this was. This quarterback's really good. Uh, that's a touchdown? That's a touchdown. And they didn't call it. <laughs> they didn't call it. Unless they don't think that he was down on that right foot. Maybe he wasn't. Oh, that's super close. I can't tell. Oh, my gosh. Forced a field goal. Let's see if we can get the ball back and not turn the ball over. Wow, what a game. Entertaining. Now we're up eight. We were up 17 or something at one point, like two minutes ago. So at this point, I'm thinking of running clock, if I can. Let's go right. Let's go right. Let's go right. Stay in. Oh, good run. Let's see if we can get Drummer going again. He's our fastest running back by far. That's why I'm doing a lot of more runs with him. Right, let's go over here. That's fine. Just good pursuit. Barely get four yards. Let's go. Tight end delay. Please go man. Thank you. They finally go man on this play. They're double teaming him. Let's do something like this. I don't think that helped. Oh, I don't think it helped at all. Do something like this. Get the first down. Just enough the drummer. And we need to give him a bit of a break. I think he's gassed. We'll do something like this. Let's do slam. The clock has stopped, so we can go ahead and run it like normal. Uh, maybe that helped a little. Good block right there. We'll go out of bounds. That's fine. At least we're getting yardage. Good run by Dargan. Let's do a blast. We're going man. Since they're going man. Clock has stopped. Do something like just don't fumble it. Good play there. Let's do an over from this play, from this formation. We're going man. And I should have flipped it. I can flip it here if I want to. Let's flip it. They stayed in man, thankfully. The clock is running. We'll get it down to a couple seconds. Good blocking. Just stay away from that guy right there. Get a first down. Good run. On the six. We'll go back to slam. I figured they'd go goal line, and they are. Since they're going zone. I'd love to do like a pass play down here eventually, but it may not be in our best interest. So let's do something like this. The clock has stopped, so we can go ahead and run it. Good hit. Just don't fumble it. He is gassed. Let's do a direct. Go line. Ugh. But they're going zone. Do something like this. Get an extra guy over there to protect, maybe. <laughs> We need a touchdown in the worst way possible. Good blocking. Touchdown. Just enough. <laughs> I should have went to the outside a little bit more, but that's okay. So we got the touchdown back. And we're now up two scores again, technically. Kind of, sort of, yeah. We're going to be up 12. So that is technically two scores. Perfect extra point. I was thinking more touchdowns than anything else. 
Still a ton of time left. A ton of time. But we got to stop these guys somehow. Let's kick it off again. Strong kick, but going the opposite way, and that is a flag. Hit the button too late. Sprague, Sprague, however you say his name. Go quarters. We need somebody on the front line to do something. Anything. Play action. Fumble. Pick it up, somebody. Huge play right there. Huge. Tit for tat, son. Tit for tat. And they got a guy hurt. That's their impact receiver. I want to go. I'll tell you what I need to do. I didn't think about this. Let's go formation subs. I need to put Marcelin, Adams. I want to put Elliot right there. That's what we really need to do. Put our best receiver right there. Let's do the wide receiver option play. They're going zone. Now, I need to go back and look. This may be a bad idea, to be honest. Elliot's our best guy, but he's not our fastest. I probably need to put right there instead. That's probably what I need to do. So let me go ahead and change that. I'm going to go right here. We're going to reset the current. We'll go back, put Marshallin, Adams. We'll do something like that. That's a little bit better. Got to be careful. There. That's a good play call. That's good defense. I got a few yards, though. Second and five. Ooh, we can try. Let's do a dive from here. We're going zone 4-3. I still need to think about running clock. Love the shift. Man, if we can get decent blocking on the right side. I keep forgetting. I need to switch my strong side over to the left. Get away from that impact safety. He's had a great game today. Good play right here. Huge run. Right up the gut. Big run. Great blocking by my right guard. Great block by right on that safety. If I could have broke a tackle right here, it was all she wrote. But we'll take it. Good first down. Let's do uh, another speed option and option strong from this formation is the same thing. Like it's little one goes to the left, one goes to the right. Yeah, you can flip both. So that, it never made sense to me why they done that. We're going to do something like this. We're going to run some clock. I'm, it's just another toss play. Touchdown. Just enough of a juke to get in there. Okay. That should seal the deal. So we're up three scores. We'll kick an extra point. Now they can still come back and probably score a touchdown or maybe two, but I think we've got this game under wraps. Trust me, in time, the offense will open up a little bit more as I just... I got to go back and look at my playbook in general. See what plays I have. And I'm sure I'm missing like a dozen of them off the top of my head that I would like to use. I just can't think of them. At the moment, I don't have time to look them up. Because we got a play clock, a game clock, and you just don't have all the time to do some of that stuff. Now, he's got all the room in the world on the left. Thankfully, somebody came through and made a tackle. We'll go quarters. So if Ball State's going to hang 28 on us, or four scores, good throw. Not good enough, though, actually. He had plenty of room to run. If they can score 28, I'm really nervous about what some of these other teams can do against us. And here comes the glitch play, and I completely messed up on that tackle. They're going to call the same play over and over again. I need to do something like this. There we go. I need to set up my defensive audibles as well. This is just a glitch part of their playbook where they just don't know how to call anything else. Offside, somebody, yeah, didn't get over. They'll decline that. At least they may call something different on this play before they 
go back to that play again. I probably need to go back to cover two man going forward because if they convert on this play and they're not going to thankfully so they're going to pick something completely different. Let's just go cover two man from 4-3. That way, if they get a decent gain, they'll go back to that same play again. Wide open over there. Good open field tackle, though. So my starting free safety is gas. He's out for whatever reason. Uh, I'm going to stay in cover two man again. I think they'll go back to that run play. Do something like this. Screen. Good open field tackle. So here, oh, they're calling a timeout, thankfully. At this point, a second and 13. I don't mind going cloud. It doesn't matter at this point. The game is over with. Do something like this. Overthrew it. That was awful close, though. Third and 13. I went cloud twice. I didn't really need to. So we'll call it again. I should have went quarters on that last play. And dang it, I messed up on this one. Good stop, though. So it's fourth and 13. They will go for it. I think I may go quarters from 4-3 on this one. Do something like this. Good open field tackle, and that is all she wrote. So we're going to take a knee and end this thing. That's a good way to start the dynasty, the career, the regime of Coach Sexton. Take a knee there, and we'll do it one more time. We'll check out some stats, and we'll check out some scores forward of the week so i think this offense is pretty fun i just gotta get used to some of the plays and all the new stuff because again i know i'm forgetting quite a few ones that i want to run that i know i can that are just not on my mind at the moment get it down to a couple of seconds we'll just go ahead and do that now and that is it final score 49 to 27 we will look at some stats. 484 yards of offense. So pretty good, but we're playing against an awful team, and we ran the ball really well. 280 yards of rushing, and we ran the ball more than we threw, which I'm more than happy with at this point until I figure out a lot of the pass plays that I want to go with. But our passing game went well, too. 17 to 23, only 204 yards. We didn't get to go deep a whole lot. We kind of kept it underneath. So that's kind of the West Coast part of it, in a sense. So it is a pair of coasts, but with condensed sets, I guess. Third down was absolutely dreadful. Them as well. We had the two bad turnovers. That got Ball State back in it, but we prevailed in the fourth quarter. We could check out some individual stats. 17 of 23, 204 yards. No touchdowns and the one interception, which wasn't his fault. Our tight end just dropped it. Running the ball. Dargan ended up being our leading rusher. 128 yards, two touchdowns. Boyle had 94 yards and three touchdowns. Drummer with 56 yards and two touchdowns. So I like the distribution we have between those three. We pretty much have a three-headed monster at running back, and we're trying our best to use all three. Receiving. Pretty evenly across the board in terms of receptions, yards, 59 for Adams, 85 for Elliott, and a handful of yards for the rest of the guys. But we don't have one guy at wide receiver that really stands out where it's like, hey, we really need to give him the ball. We do not have a grant, let's put it that way. Blocking, nothing to see there, I guess. Defense, why ended up being our leading tackler, a right outside linebacker. Tackles for loss, we have four guys with one apiece. Sacks, we only had the one from our impact defensive end, and no interceptions to speak of. And before we go, let's go to box score. Just wanted to see here. That third quarter was getting kind of iffy, but our fourth quarter. Second quarter and fourth quarter, we really took care of business. All right, let's get out of here, and let's check out some scores from week two. Michigan barely beats Northern Illinois, Georgia over Boise State. 
Iowa over ECU, UTEP over New Mexico State, Oklahoma barely beat TCU, Pitt barely beat Notre Dame, Ohio State over Miami of Ohio, Florida over Wyoming, but only by a touchdown, Auburn over Georgia Tech, Virginia over Western Michigan, LSU got upset by North Texas, Texas over Louisiana Lafayette, or just Louisiana nowadays, Cal over Sacramento State, Louisville destroys Kentucky, Tennessee beats UAB, UCLA over San Diego State, USC over Hawaii, our beloved Hawaii Warriors, Texas A&M over Clemson, Virginia Tech got dog stomped, curb stomped by NC State, and it wasn't even close. That's our team we got coming up next. And last but not least, Miami over Florida State. We're going to play a bunch of these teams later on in the season. So come on back. We will take on number 17, Virginia Tech. This is going to be a nightmare game for us. They run the ball extremely well. Who knows what happened in this first game? They may have had some injuries. I'm not really sure, but it's going to be an uphill battle, to say the least. But it should be fun. All right, come on back, and I'll talk to you later.